Meanwhile, the Honolulu Board of Water Supply says it needs more from the community when it comes to conserving water, which could include higher water bills. KITV 4 Shanila Kabir breaks down the rate increase and how it would impact households and businesses. Board of Water Supply officials want to hear from you. They're holding public meetings all over Oahu starting August 14th to find out how people feel about proposed increases in water rates. They say increasing your water bill will help with water quality, protection, and contribute to our overall water conservation plan. Restaurants, they look at everything, all the utility prices that are going up, the food prices that are going up, everything that's going up in there, say, not another one. We're just hoping that it doesn't impact so, so much that we have to really take a look at our, our menu prices. Restaurants are some of Oahu's largest water customers, using it for cooking food, cleaning dishes, and serving water to guests. Hawaii Restaurant Association officials say many restaurants are conserving water by asking customers to bring in their own flasks. Businesses that pay the non-residential rate includes hotels, hospitals and restaurants. They pay a flat fee of $5.27 for every thousand gallons of water they use. In January of 2024, it's proposed the rate will increase 10% to $5.88 per thousand gallons. In July of next year, another increase up to $6.38, with annual increases every year to $8.80 per thousand gallons in July of 2028. Board of Water Supply released a statement. To fund anticipated operating and infrastructure improvement expenses, BWS revenues will need to increase. The BWS does not receive tax revenues to finance its operations. Water infrastructure improvements and operations are funded mostly by rate revenues. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News. Board of Water Supply crews are now on scene fixing a damaged water line in Kalihi. This is what it looked like earlier today with water flooding the street. The BWS says the line broke sometime this morning in the eastbound lanes before Colburn Street. Businesses in the area are now without water. The repairs are taking place in an already closed lane for rail construction. No word yet on when this break will be fixed. Right now, four customers, including Waianae Intermediate School, Waianae District Park, and the Waianae Boat Harbor are all without water. Port of Water Supply crews continue to work on a 16-inch water main break on Farrington Highway, right in front of Waianae High School. Drivers should expect delays in this area. Waianae Intermediate is scheduled to welcome 8th graders for orientation tomorrow, and we have reached out to the DOE to find out whether school will be open. We have yet to hear back.